Hello, this is Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club and in front of us is a 2013 Mercedes Sprinter. This started out life as a cargo van. It's been converted and that's the purpose of the video is to show you uh, what's been done to it. For a power plant, it does have the turbocharged V6 diesel, automatic transmission, and uh, just over 64,000 miles on the odometer. This is a great build. I like the price point on this. You can jump online and see sprinters anywhere from its configurations um, all the way up to $300,000. This one is price pointed the way it is because of what is on it. So if you're looking for a more basic conversion, um, this one should be high on your list. So great overall condition before we jump inside and start talking about uh, what it has. Just do a quick pass through, we've got lots of photos, but really good shape, lights are bright, no damage on that grill, no damage on the bumpers, no accident history. We do have one little gotcha on this door. So a slight wrinkle as well as a couple scratches. So be aware of that if you're coming in from long distance. We just do have the winter tires on it right now. Considering it's November, um, fantastic. If you're taking this to a uh, uh, part of the country with no snow, you're gonna need some tires as well. So those would be the two things tires as well as that little ding. The front compartment, really good condition. Non-smoking van. The seats have had seat covers on them from new. So the seats do look new. The dash is in good shape, wheel. There's just nothing banged up or smudged up on this rig whatsoever. Rubber floor mats, and then you've got a really easy to keep clean vinyl flooring as well. So onto the conversion. Like I was saying, this one's a basic conversion. So it doesn't have propane on board, heat or a water system. It's really just a good base camp, uh, car camping, lots of room for gear, storage, etc and just use it as a base camp. Even that, you're looking at over $14,000 worth of build out. These things are ridiculous once you start insulating them. Uh, the cost of doing that, adding that window, etc., cetera, um, gets, uh, gets pretty spendy. So you have a full insulated ceiling, walls, and finished floor. And that is wired throughout. So this is your galley area. Stainless steel backdrop. It's lit. Um, my son would like that little phrase right there. But you do have drawers with lockouts. So that way things don't come open while you're traveling down the road. So lock out on all the cabinets. This one's just open so you can store larger, larger things in here. And there's a lock on the bottom there too to open that up. These are removable. There's your mounting points. The other cabinets the same way but they're not just free floating. Everything is locked in. So you're ready for uh, highway travel. 12 volt right there. Lights all the way back. There's another set right there. So it's not the high roof. So I'm six foot. Got to duck my head a little bit in here. There's always pros and cons. If you're looking for a high roof one, they're out there. This isn't, which makes accessing the rack system a little bit easier. 
you're also not quite the uh, wind sail going down the road. You don't have to worry about the, uh, the extra height, but it does make it a little smaller in there. Still lots of room for sitting up, reading, hanging out, relaxing. Vent as well, roof vent. And then we're gonna take a look at the back side. Underneath there is actually a custom mounted second row. So if you want this bench, I'll just jump in here and, and do this. If you do, if you don't want the second row, then you're just gonna pop this all the way out completely and never see it again. If you've got kids or a lifestyle that you do want a second row, it's just a quick snap in. system right here so you got this rail system in your finished floor and you've got all the hardware to mount that in they've actually got that so you do not have to move the cabinet to use the second row this portion would have to then come out and then the seat can come all the way all the way forward in, in the up position there is seat belts there as well so you do have that uh, second row if you want it. And so this is a slick system. You can put your uh, skis up there if you like. You do have this walking platform, four different rails. So kayaks, paddle boards, etc. And because it's not the high roof, you're not way up there. You could just tilt a paddleboard up against your rig and then tie them down easy enough. Class three tow hitch, good for a bike rack. It's wired as well if you want to tow something small. And this rear area, of course, lots of room for uh, more gear, etc. You've got a bike rack, a couple mounts for your front tires, if you like. So you have upper ventilation. And then you also have side ventilation. We'll swing over there. And take a look at that. So excellent mount on the ladder. And as you're laying in bed, you want a little ventilation, you've got the top and those sides, and this is screened out as well. We'll take a look at the uh, driver's seat. And we do have those seat covers if you want to put those back on easy enough to do so really clean van there is your miles right there Let's see if we can get a closer read 
this 2013 converted Sprinter. If you've got an interest in this rig, all you have to do is call me. I'm Shep, and I can be reached at 208 721 1973. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.